Hey there, Angel of Rabbix Gaming with a new video for Shadow of the Year 2 DLC. Here's how you can become a monk by using the new hand-to-hand -hand weapon category in the Shadow of the Year 3 DLC. It took me 20 hours to realize this, but as soon as I picked an Ash of War, I had one of those aha moments that made it all click. After completing Castle Ansys, guide here in case you're stuck, you will arrive at the edge of the first map area where you will see a cross and a few items. If you pick the farthest one, you'll get the monk's missive, which reads, Seek me to the east to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for words. Next step is making your way to the Moose Ruins, not so far away to the east. There you'll meet this guy, Dryleaf Dane. This guy is the monk. It doesn't look like a monk to me, but this Ash of War hinted that he was indeed who I was looking for. If you try to talk to him, he'll say nothing, and if you dare to attack him in any way, he'll just vanish, coming back after resting in the near side of grace. So, the key here is to use the same gesture found in the missive, which is this one. May the best win. After doing this, the screen will fade to black, and you'll reappear with him at the distance ready for a fight. Defeat Dryleaf Dane, and you'll go back to the original Renary of the World, where you'll find an encouragement message and two items. One of them is the Dryleaf Arts weapon. Just equip it, and you can begin your journey as a martial arts master. Finally, as a quick heads up, these can be upgraded using normal smithing stones up to plus 25. Be sure to check out more Shadow of the Year 3 DLC videos that I will be uploading to his playlist right here as I progress through the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching, and keep enjoying the game.